nice and you mug her. How you be so nice with the devil be a spawn? Yeah. Down bad, down bad, got me feeling so sad, so sad. She got me down bad. Hey, bitch got me down bad. Hey, welcome back, everybody. So, um, today we're gonna do this song I keep hearing keeps popping up in my Pandora list. This guy named Atlas. He's kind of like a newer, I guess he's kind of like a hip hop kind of artist guy, but it's a good song. Um, real catchy. It's only like three chords, but it's a great minor seventh chord workout doing that Jimi Hendrix style embellishment. It's really just going to be a G sharp minor, E flat minor seven, and C sharp minor seven. But we're just going to embellish those doing all those kind of Hendrix kind of stuff right so we're gonna start out G sharp minor we're gonna slide in with our thumb you think you might finger pick this like I just have a heavy right hand I like to smack it so so you slide in to four and give it a stab on your G minor G sharp minor so you slide into four on the low E stab on your G sharp minor then hit Hit the low E again on four. Then you're gonna slide in from four to six on the A string. And after you hit four to six on the A, go ahead and bar from A down on the sixth fret. And as you bar, get your uh, ring finger on the eighth fret on the D string. Your middle finger down on seven on the B string, so you're forming that E flat minor seven. And after you put your seventh on the B string down, we're gonna hammer on with our pinky to the ninth fret on the B, right? So you have okay, then after you hammer on that B string on the ninth fret with your pinky. C sharp minor seven, and you can leave out the A string. We're really just playing D down. So bar D, G, B, and E on four. Hammer on to six on D and five on the B string. All right, so we have so far. Got to pause, kind of give it a little smack. And then he'll play several different licks, right? The first one is like a. So the first time around, he's got uh, All right, so you just hold this uh, C sharp minor seventh shape. And you're just going to pick. Just bar all the four from A down, six on D, five on B. You just pick D to G. And then pull off the fifth fret on the B string. G to B. And then you gotta grab it with your thumb real quick, or if you're gonna bar, use your index finger. And right after you do that pull off, you're gonna go back to the low E string after you pick G to D. Alright, so your first part you have. Alright, so your first part you have. going to do everything the same. We're just going to change the lick at the end on this C sharp minor 7. And so I'll give you a few different variations. So after the first one, then you can go uh All right, so that second one, when we get to that C sharp minor 7, hold down the bar have six on D, seven or five on B, and six on D. You're gonna hammer on and pull off with your pinky, seventh fret on the B string, and then pick the G string after. And then on the fifth fret on the B, hammer on and pull off with your middle finger, and then pick G to D, right? So you have, and then right back to that low E string. All right, so we'll play the first two back to back. All right, first one you get, all right, then you 
just kind of repeat those and make your own timing. I play it differently every time I play it, but that's the main thing that's going on with the record is those two, right? Just... <laughs> five on the B string and then just starting with the pull off those are the main two variations right and then I do something in the intro where I just bar D G B and E on the fourth fret and I just go down the G minor pentatonic scale and I just do this hammer on pull off so you can just bar D G B E on four hammer on with your pinky and pull off the seventh fret on the E string the B string and then 6th fret on the G, and then 6th fret on the D. So we'll play right. through all three real slow, different variations. You got... three chords like I said it's just a great workout for about you know three minutes just doing those things over and over you can do your own little embellishments in there you can play all sorts of add in all your little G sharp licks you have around with it like I said it's a great workout for your left hand getting those pull-offs nice and clean and accurate and um, that's it all right so practice slow have fun see you next time <laughs>